Hello everybody, Jim Malone here from Dallas Trading Floor. Well, it looks like we only really have two sectors of the market that are holding things up. And one of them, of course, as you know, is the chip sector. And of course, uh, we showed our uh, covered call trade on NVIDIA on that one. And we also have a covered call trade on AMD. But the Bitcoin area is starting to heat up. And one of the areas, uh, one of the ETFs that covers Bitcoin is the ETF BITO, B-I-T-O. Even though BITO has pulled back a little bit today, as you can see, it's down about 2.23%. We have a cup formation forming on this ETF. And uh, currently, this uh, the price action is 25% below the 10-day moving average. Now, this is a weekly chart that we're looking at, so this is sort of a long-term view. But what uh, there might be a handle forming here. Now, typically, one of the most auspicious chart patterns is a cup with handle. And the way that works, of course, is that cup happens, it comes up to resistance, and then it pulls back. And typically, it pulls back to an index line. And the index line here that I'm showing you is the 10-day moving average. And that's about 25% below where it is currently. Currently, uh, Bitto is at 3243. And it looks like uh, it is stalled here at the higher high and it looks like it's pulling back. What I propose is to possibly watch this stock, put this in a watch list, and look to see when it will pull back to about $27 a share, $27, $28 a share. That's going to be sort of where it touches this index line. At that point, there's a high propensity for this to reverse higher. So just wanted to take a look at that. There's really two ETFs that we can trade uh, for Bitcoin. One of them, of course, is BITO that we show you here, B-I-T-O, and the other one is the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. This is the weekly chart of the GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. As you can see, there is a cup formation, and basically what the cup formation says is that it is finally after uh, March of 2021, making a new higher high. Typically, you want to buy a stock when it's making a new higher high. Now, of course, this is an ETF, but similar to stock in that sense. You'll notice, though, that we are relatively far away from the 10-week moving average. The 10-week moving average here is 46.73. So we don't want to buy it now because it's making a higher high. We are expecting a pullback. Uh, to the 10 week line. The ideal place to buy this would be approximately at the 10 week line at about $47 a share. As you can see, the volume here has been coming in to the, to this issue. You'll notice that the average volume is coming, moving up and, uh, it is also above this red line. This is the average uh, this is the average volume for the day. So it's making higher highs here with the volume as well. So this is showing uh, institutional interest in this particular ETF. 10-week moving average right now is at 46.73. So what we're looking for here, just like with Bitto, is we're looking for a pullback. Currently, uh, the stock is at 57.45. And if it pulls back to about 47 or so, that's where we possibly have uh, an entry point. Now, the, right now, it would not be a good time to buy this stock because it's what they call extended. It's over 20% above this 10-week moving average. More than likely, this will pull back in a cup with handle uh, and then form a base here at the 10-week moving average and then reverse higher. So this is a potential uh, buy point as well, 47 for the GBTC. My recommendation here is not to buy either BITO or the GBTC right now, but to wait for a pullback. The pullback for the BITO uh, ETF to about $27 a share. Uh, so you can set a limit order uh, at $27 a share, good till cancel, to buy BITO. With the GBTC, I recommend uh, $47 a share uh, for the good till cancel order. Well, none of this is uh, my opinion. This is just my opinion, and uh, I, this is not a recommendation for everyone, but this is probably what I'm going to be doing with these two ETF stocks, BITO and the GBTC.